I'm getting tired of this twitch. I'll try London again tomorrow night. Well, I've still got that line across there. I'm going to see if I can fade it out a little bit. I do want to fade it out as I go up here and uh, don't really want to have it really dark. Uh, much past, you know, I really want to start to fade it out. So. Actually, so interesting thing. I thought it just crossed my mind that almost resembles a mountain in the background, and I almost could um, could leave that like that, but. I'm not sure I'm going to, but uh, I almost could. Not a bad I, I guess one of the things I should really do is practice on a on a spare bit of board because one of the hardest things to do is actually to do a graduation. So you know, dark to light. It's easy enough. Mm, it's easier to do in the direction that you're going, so to speak. So I maybe have to try doing it in that direction at some point. But then you get tool marks. Well, potentially you get tool marks that go vertical and they kind of look a little bit odd which is why I'm going horizontal but trying to get um, horizontal graduations is um, something I find um, not very easy to do so this particular piece is giving me quite a bit of practice <laughs> or will do there we go Okay, so let's see if I can make it so that this bit down here does not look like I've got just a line across there 
So this area underneath of that line has got to be made a bit darker to join up with the line at the very least. Now this particular pen is actually quite a bit harder to to handle to manipulate, but it is um, it is quite nice in that it's got a wider blade, which does make sort of uh, doing this sort of thing a bit easier than using a smaller blade. I'm a lot um, seem to be a lot less likely to create dark blobs because of it. Which is relatively easier with the thinner the thinner shader that I was using um, or have been using tonight. And there goes the chat again. I wonder if that means that I'm about to lose the video stream again as well. I hope not. Well, don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> Trouble is, you say, uh, theme hospital. Um, Murphy's will come in the room if I do that. And uh, what what will happen then is um, the IRC client will go down and Twitch chat will stay up. <laughs> but then again, you can have both. I mean, I am running two chat windows as it stands anyway. And that's partly because I can see, I can read the one, I can read the one that's over there on the, on that monitor easier than I can read the one in front of me. Um, just because of these glasses. And uh, But I can see that one move, so then I can read that one. So I can always put uh, make one of them an IRC client. Okay, that's a better. That's a bit better. Still got a little bit of a dark line across there. So I need to bring that down a little bit. Not quite that dark. There is a milk float already in TS 2015 uh, theme hospital. Um, I've forgotten what um, I've forgotten what route it's on, um, but it's uh, it is actually there. Map play. If you look through Matt's um, YouTube videos, there's one of them. I think it's somewhere like um, it's not. Um, I was wanting to say Ipswich, but it's not Ipswich. Um, Off the M, off the M3, the end of the M3. I can't remember the place, uh, but there is uh, there is milk float already uh, ready in there. Matt was um, talking about doing a um, doing a, a new route using the milk float um, as a uh, yeah, something for the uh, Steam Workshop, I think, and a scenario for it. Oh, 
Train Simulator 2015 meets OMSI 2. <laughs> And of course, there's uh, although there's um, there is a possibility of buses coming to Euro Truck Simulator um, as a an addition. It's kind of like um, it almost makes you wonder how long it would be before before what you get is you get a, a transport simulator and um, good night Greer um, have a good evening see you again next time buses on well I mean there's uh, the uh, Japanese route that came out just recently was literally just that. It was a bus. Uh, the, um, I've forgotten you know, the, the, the recent one, but it was actually um, the history of that uh, uh, railway line was actually a bus converted to operate on rails. And um, I know in the engine driver, there's a, well, the, you know, the rail construction vehicles all have. Um, train wheels as well as road wheels so things like the diggers and and stuff like that can actually go on the rails uh, to travel uh, to travel to sites and they sort of just come off at things like level crossings and stuff like that um so that would be uh, um interesting i guess but it's uh, it, it uh, i kind of wonder when we'll we will get that uh, transport simulator you know you get off the bus you go outside you you sort of jump in a car if you like or, or you jump in the in the bus you drive to another station you get out you go in you get into the train cab and you drive somewhere down to Heathrow or you get out of Heathrow get into a 737 and take off kind of wonder when uh, when that will actually happen This, uh, I mean, if uh, Truck Simulator do get as close, uh, actually get to the point of rele releasing uh, bus simulation within it, you're not that. Um, you've got you've got a fair chunk there. Tie that in with uh, Train Simulator, and uh, away you go.
Uh, world of Trucks is happening. Um, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, in some, I mean, in some ways, it's it, it kind of it's all it needs in a way, isn't it? Theme hospital. You don't actually necessarily have to have them, I guess, all in one game. You just kind of have to have one somehow, you know, fire the other one and have some sort of seamless transition, really, between them would be nice. I mean, yes, you can you can you can role play it from the point of view of uh, you, you know, you, as you say, you do the drive and then um, switch you know, switch games and and uh, and carry on. But you almost kind of like need a way of doing it where you you stay within the game world. So whilst you still have to sort of suspend. A level of belief. It's it's uh, it's less than dumping out to the desktop and uh, and firing up another another simulator. And I guess you can always sort of um, simulate that a little bit. You know. Uh, fire up your flight simulator in one on one window and pause it and then uh, go fire up tra uh, truck simulator in another one that around so I can get right up to the leg. Ow! The air was because I was holding the pen vertically like that and the heat comes straight up there. It's like holding your fingers above a candle. There's not a lot of heat, but when you're right above it, there's there's enough. This background is taking a lot longer than I expected it to do so. Which is kind of surprising me a little bit. Well, it has surprised me a little bit. I thought it would go quite a lot faster. So what I'm just doing here, there's kind of a white edge. So I am just going across the boundary between the dark and, and the you know, background on here. Just adding a little bit of shade to that dark edge. Sorry, to the light edge. Oh dear. So that it, it doesn't stand out too much. There we go. Ah, it looks better. Hmm. That trunk needs a little bit of uh, edge texturing on it, but not too bad. So, mm -hmm. quite like that. The um, 
that sort of dark area sort of tails off here that was naturally done by the wood not by me but um, it sort of um, tailors off quite nicely so it, I think what I might just see if I can do is sort of um, use an arc for the for the you know for the area a little or sort of a, an arc I don't want to go too strongly but maybe like across here sort of thing might work better but uh, there we go I think I am going to have a rest it's getting dark here turn the pyro off uh, I could have with a drink and uh, I'm getting a bit tired of twitch disconnecting me tonight so what I'm going to do is say if there's anybody that's watching that isn't following me then I would appreciate you doing so um, but if you don't want to that's okay um, if you would rather follow me on Twitter so you get notified when I go live and not what I have for my tea <laughs> even though they're fairly close to each other then um, you uh, can follow me uh, the, uh, the Twitter username is below the stream window um, it's also on the end plate but it's at Zavaganat and uh, if you would just like to try and uh, pick me pick me up uh, try and uh, um, catch me tomorrow night I do stream seven nights a week from 8 p.m. in the UK 1900 hours GMT and uh, it's about two and a quarter hours ago in whatever time zone uh, you're in um, was eight o'clock in the UK that time tomorrow night and subsequent nights uh, Ray, uh, Ray America thank you very much for that and uh, uh, Nod Lechin I hope I've got that correctly. Thank you very much for that. I don't know if you've just joined. If you have, I'm sorry. I'm a, I'm about to uh, uh, to close the stream for tonight. Um, we're uh, not doing too bad uh, on this. Thank you for your uh, for your comments. Adding in the sky in the background. It's meant to be sort of a sunset-ish sort of scene. In sort of I don't know. Um, a savannah type ish area but um, it, it's just stylized really adding in the background so that I can judge some of the colors around the elephant's face a little bit more um, because the the colors do tend to change as you add sort of like darker and lighter areas around them so we're kind of at a stage where we need to add more color in and some down here as well so it, it's a little bit of a slow process. I need to get a little bit more practice with the tool that I'm actually using, but um, doing some more of that, well, we'll be doing that again tomorrow night. So a large proportion of this will actually be almost covered in, in some form of pyrography, even if it is the only shading area. Um, but apart from that, that's what we're looking at at the moment. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you again tomorrow, tomorrow evening. Or our subsequent stream. Bye bye, everybody.